Kinsuya's absolute dominion chokes the world. The devil Jean, a ravenous beast unleashed, transforms him into a god king, raining terror upon a trembling humanity. Jean Kazama, forever haunted by the echo of that darkness within, now faces a horrifying truth, the very evil he hunts stares back at him, an unstoppable colossus forged from his own bloodline. Can he devise a strategy to combat the embodiment of his own inner demon? But what if the tides shifted entirely? Suppose Jean, through sheer willpower, exorcised the devil Jean from his soul. Free from its torment, he basks in a newfound serenity. Yet, a chilling question lingers, with the Mishima bloodline's volatile core ripped out, will the world find peace, or will a power vacuum unleash even greater chaos? These are the diverging paths we'll explore today, as we delve into a reality where Kinzuya becomes the ultimate power, and Jean walks a path free from the devil's influence. Prepare to share your own theories in the comments below, and listen carefully to find a hidden message in this video. I will heart the comments that guess it correctly. Now let's pull up a chair and unravel these theories. The unleashed devil gene within Kinzuya transforms him into an unstoppable force. He seizes complete control of the Mishima Zaibatsu, wielding fear and technology to build a global empire. Former rivals fall effortlessly as the world trembles under his absolute power. Witnessing the embodiment of the darkness he seeks to destroy, Jin's resolve wavers. Kinsuya's influence merges advanced technology with demonic power, creating an unstoppable arsenal that erodes morality and plunges the world into a dystopian survival-focused state. His influence corrupts the very fabric of reality with demonic energies. Desperate and facing an enemy who embodies pure darkness, Jean seeks unorthodox solutions. He delves deeper into his heritage, embarking on a spiritual quest for guidance and attempting to access hidden power sources beyond the devil Jean. Unable to face Kinsuya directly, Jean utilizes guerrilla tactics and manipulation to weaken him, exploiting his arrogance and vulnerabilities. He seeks allies who share his opposition, even if their motives differ, and utilizes advanced technology to gain an edge. As Jean and Kinsuya face off, the future remains uncertain. Jean might have to consider sacrificing his humanity to confront his adversary, potentially succumbing to the darkness himself. Unexpected alliances form, and Jin's ventures into forbidden knowledge and alliances carry unforeseen risks. Pockets of resistance offer a glimmer of hope against Kinzuya's regime, culminating in a final confrontation that becomes a symbolic battle for the soul of the world and the very concept of good versus evil. Free from the devil Jean's torment, Jean experiences a newfound sense of inner peace and clarity. No longer driven by the constant struggle to suppress its influence, he seeks a new purpose for his fighting style. Delving deeper into his Mishima heritage, Jean attempts to understand his lineage and potential destiny. Having been plagued by the inner demon, he may even dedicate himself to helping others who grapple with their own internal battles. Unburdened by the constant internal conflict, Jean focuses on honing his pure martial arts skills, potentially surpassing his previous limitations. Jin's disinterest in the Zaibatsu's ruthless Get tactics strong. could lead to a power Main struggle tournaments. within the organization. Kinsuya or Haihachi, if still alive, might face pressure to adopt more ethical practices due to Jin's influence. Individuals loyal to Jin's ideals may even defect from the Zaibatsu, weakening its control. Without Jin's rivalry fueling the conflict, the Iron Fist tournament becomes less destructive, potentially shifting its focus towards showcasing pure martial arts skill. Freed from the internal turmoil, Jean might contribute his strategic mind to peaceful scientific research or even seek collaboration with G Corporation to explore the potential benefits of advanced technology for humanity. However, unforeseen consequences may arise. With the necessary evil of the devil gene absent, a new global threat could emerge. 
Jin's absence from the major power struggle could create a void, leading to instability, and certain factions might exploit this lack of a powerful Mishima to further their own agendas. Jin's path may lead him to form unexpected alliances with former enemies who share his vision for a better future. With the Mishima drama no longer the central focus, other rivalries and character stories would gain more prominence, potentially paving the way for a new generation of fighters inspired by Jin's journey and message. With Jin's cooperation, scientists could delve deeper into the Devil Gene's mysteries, potentially finding ways to help others. This could spark philosophical and political debates about the ethical implications of manipulating or eradicating the Devil Gene altogether. Jin's newfound peacefulness and immense skills could position him as a powerful advocate for peace and understanding within the fighting community. He could utilize his experience to mentor new fighters, instilling his values and martial arts knowledge. His newfound peace could even lead him to become a global peacekeeper. However, a small chance exists that the Devil Gene's influence might resurface under extreme circumstances. Alternatively, another member of the Mishima bloodline could awaken a dormant devil gene, reigniting the conflict. Kazuya might face an identity crisis without Jin's rivalry fueling his own dark ambitions. Even if alive, Haihachi might attempt to manipulate Jin back into the conflict. Other characters previously focused on the Mishima conflict would have to adjust their goals and allegiances, ushering in a new era of Tekken where martial arts mastery, technology, and global peace take center stage. Jin's journey ultimately becomes a testament to overcoming inner demons and forging a path towards a brighter future. A huge thanks to everyone who watched till the end. For those who stayed, tell us who your favorite Tekken character is. And don't forget to comment on what the hidden message is. If you enjoyed consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel. Until then I'll see you in the next one.